hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new hi welcome my name is milana so pretty much let's get straight into this video these are just the products that i used to complete these knotless braids i'm pretty much just going to do a voiceover and just pop in here and there just to show you guys what i'm doing other than that it's kind of more of like a visual representation and then i'll kind of go in and explain what's going on With starting the back of my head, it's literally the hardest because my hair is just so short and broken off. So I pretty much struggled with this. So you're gonna see me just parting it right here and then going to my bathroom so that I can see a little bit better and trying to braid it. So the back always looks the worst for me because it's just the hardest. And yeah, that's me in the bathroom now. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on and how to start this. And then as the video goes on, um, it gets a lot better to see like how I'm doing it. I just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of how I did the back because I know when I was first starting off, nobody would ever show me the back and I was like, that's what I'm struggling with. Like I need to see it. So I just kind of put this clip in there, but for better visual representation, it gets better later in the video. This part is regular speed. I just want to show you guys how slow, how slow I am with this because honestly, I just be struggling. As you can see, like pieces of hair are leaving the parts that are not supposed to be going. Like it was just a mess. So I just wanted to like leave it in regular speed just to show you guys how slow I actually go. And this probably resulted in why it took me so long to complete these braids. <laughs> As you can see like that part that piece of hair is not tight as it should be in the beginning but like i said the back is my most complicated part so i could care less like i just want to move on like these three take me forever okay you guys so today is day two okay so i went ahead and parted my part with some edge control. So now I'm just gonna go in and try to clean it up. Okay, so for this part, I just wanted to show you guys how I was parting. I do like, I guess you would call it the stack method. I'm not too sure. So I just made sure that my lines weren't right on top of each other. I would just part it and with the part, I would try to make sure it was either in the middle or very close to just like a good amount away from the part that was below it. So I just always tried to make sure it was either more to the right of the part that was at the bottom or more to the left of the part that was at the bottom. It just kind of depended on where the braid was and how I finished off that part. But I'm always a G, cause I come from the streets And I got heat for whoever thinking they want some No more fucking with the lanes, how you rollin' with the thugs So tell the nigga to hit <laughs>
we're now on to day four and as you can see i'm parting the rest of the half of my head and i always start off with the piece that is closest to my middle part since i always do a middle part for my knotless braids so i start off with that one and then i go to the bottom piece as you see right there and start building up just to make sure that the top of my head is gonna look right since the pieces closer to my sideburns are just so they're just so awkwardly linked so I pretty much just part my rows lined up with how the back of my head goes. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but that's how I figure out my rows and just section them off before I start braiding anything because I just don't want to start braiding and then all of a sudden everything's crooked. So that's why I just go ahead and part out my rows and tie them up with a rubber band and then start braiding from my sideburns up. Here is just another visual representation of how I actually do the knotless braids. This is in regular speed, so it's really just showing you how slow I go just to make sure that I get it somewhat correctly and as flat as possible. So how I determined to put that last extra piece of braiding hair in is just, I fill them out, which is why I kept running like my two fingers down like that. I fill them out to figure out which two are the thinnest. And then that's when I'll go ahead and add that extra piece of braiding hair just to make sure that all my sections are even. And like I said, I'm really not the best at explaining exactly how to put the braiding hair on. That's why it's best to just watch and just try to do it as best as you can. So we are now hours later, it's late at night, and I am finally boiling my hair. All I do is boil some water in a pot and add some olive oil to it. Just make sure you're careful with this because it is really hot. And all you see me doing is just going through and just kind of shedding off those extra hairs that were just really long, it just didn't look right. And I'm just checking to see if any braids need to be braided down a little bit more before I seal it off with this hot water. So I'm just gonna grab my towel, wrap it around me and start dipping half of my hair into the boiling water. And I just go up and down until it comes up completely straight. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it comes out kind of like straggly. So I just wring it out with the towel as tight as possible to make sure they're straight. And I just keep dipping them in until they're straight like that. And I try to dip my head as deep as possible in that water just to make sure that all my braids are getting hit with that water to the top of my head. The 
then after that i'm just taking my towel and taking those hot spots just to kind of lay down the top of my head because i always get fly -over. hi guys so it is now a week and one day later i completely forgot to make an outro for this video because i just did not feel like it the next day i'm just here to say this is the final finished product i'll try to show you guys the back i don't even know if you can see that can you guys see it i know this is very like weird but this is the back but they look decent or whatever. Um, I don't remember how many braids I had in the front. I believe I had 51 or 52 in the back. I'll put how many braids I had in total sum down below. So although this one did take me like five days to do, um, I highly doubt it'll take somebody else five days. It's just because I had appointments in between my hair and I just did not feel like doing my hair this go round. So yeah, that's what took me so long. Yeah, other than that, I really do hope you guys found this video useful and helpful. If you guys did, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you did enjoy the video or if there's anything else that I can do a little bit better. Let me know. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great day, a great night, great morning, whenever you're watching this. And I hope your braids go well. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching.